cigarette holder Which wigs me over her shoulder She digs me That's a highlight from American jazz singer Brian J. Hughes and his multi-talented band, The Crew, returning to the Palladium side door for Magical Night of Cole Swings Cool. I like the name. It's a tribute to the one and only Nat King Cole. Thank you, Brian, for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm, I'm happy to be here. And I just, you know, we were talking off camera about the inspiration behind Nat King Cole's music. I know that, you know, a lot of people sometimes say, well, when I went to college, I started listening to the music or something. When did you start when I was I can remember when I was very young I heard Nat King Cole and especially around Christmas time he had mm -hmm. this, this huge song the Christmas song and you know it's chestnuts roasting on an open fire right. and I remember hearing his voice and over the years hearing more and more but unfortunately he was gone too soon right. and uh, you know, he passed away in 1965 um, at the age of 45 and I kind of feel like this generation, my generation is kind of, he's been lost. Right. So I kind of want to bring him back a little bit and pay tribute to the man. Bring it back with uh, his most famous tunes. Can you tell us about some of the music that you've selected for this show? Yeah, we've we've gone the whole gamut. We've gone from the, the classic ballads like the Christmas uh -huh. song to Route 66. Ooh. And then he actually did several, he did two different Spanish albums oh. that were inspired from the... How I I didn't know this. From the, the Cuban movement back in the 50s. Wow. And we're actually doing two songs, one quizás, quizás, quizás. Okay, yes, I do know that. I did not know it was Nat King Cole, for so, real. <laughs> Nat King Cole, and, and we have a, another couple surprise tunes in there also. Very so, excited. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got a, a, a plethora of, of songs that he did, mm -hmm. over 100 charting songs over his career. Excellent. Tell us a little bit more about your musical career. How did you get started and how did you decide to start doing all these shows across? Well, I, when I was a kid, I, I played bass in different bands and I was always the bass player sitting in the back and doing a little bit of singing. But about 12 years ago, I came to realize I really just wanted to pursue singing mm -hmm. and dove into the American Songbook, you know, Frank Sinatra, Nat King yeah. Cole, Tony Bennett, and just fell in love with that genre. And I wanted to to bring it back and, and keep it alive. I like that, keeping it alive. And of course, you're working with local musicians from yes. the crew. Talk to me about those people so, that form this amazing group. I mean, you have to admit that. So these six guys are based right here in Florida, but when they get together, it's just magic and it makes it so easy for me to sing. I mean, this is Jean Balduc on drums, Steve Boyson on bass, mm -hmm. John O'Leary on piano, and then this awesome horn section, James Suggs, yes. Mike Scaglione, and Teddy Moulet. Just phenomenal. Great guys. Sounds like a great time. And it's Cole Swings Cool at the Palladium Side Door, side right? Door, side Door, which just <laughs> reopened in the last month. We're, we're kicking off their mm -hmm. summer concert series June 10th at 8 p.m. Um, this is the more intimate show space at the uh, Palladium. I love that. It's all tables and chairs, and, mm -hmm. and the staging is great. The sound is fantastic.